Amen. Well, we'll invite the children forward. It's your time this morning. Come on down. <laughs> it was a short trip, huh, Mary? <laughs> Glad to see you. Morning, guys. How are you? Awesome. Well, what do you think I have in my pan? Water? No, nope, not today. Yeah, that's what they guessed first service. They were hungry. Yeah, that'd be a nice size. That would feed several of us, but it's not lasagna. We're going to use it several times, so we'll come back to it. Okay, today we are going to talk about the story of Adam and Eve from the Bible. And I'm actually going to read the story. This is a Bible, and it's called the Beginner's Bible, and it's perfect for those of us that are younger. All right, so we're going to read, and then we'll come there, and then we'll come back. Our story is called The Sneaky Snake, and it comes from the book of Genesis, which is in the Old Testament. The Sneaky Snake. Many trees grew in the Garden of Eden. God told Adam and Eve, you may eat the fruit of any tree except for one. Never eat the fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Now there was a sneaky snake in the garden. One day, the snake saw Eve near the special tree. It hissed, did God really tell you not to eat from the fruit of this tree? The snake wanted Eve to disobey God. It said, you should try some of this fruit. If you eat it, you will be like God. You will be able to tell the difference between good and evil. The fruit looked really tasty. Eve remembered what God had said, but she ate the fruit anyway. Then Eve gave some to Adam, and he took a bite too. As the sun was going down, Adam and Eve heard God. Walking through the garden, he was looking for them. Adam and Eve hid among the trees. They were afraid. What have you done? God asked. Did you eat the fruit from the forbidden tree? Adam said, yes, but Eve gave it to me. Eve said, yes, but the snake gave it to me. Hmm. So we'll continue in just a second here. So let's see what's in here. Are you ready? <laughs> Do you want I my wish apple? You can Mary? see their faces. Do you want my apple, Mary? <laughs> Would you like my apple? What's what's wrong? <laughs> why why don't you guys want this apple and banana? Why not? It's rotten. It's, rotten. <laughs> it's gross. It's nasty. It's yucky. All of those words are like sin. And sin is anything that we do or we think or we say that goes against what God wants us to do. Can you think of something that would be a sin? What would be a sin? Can you think of a sin, Mary? People? That would not be a sin. Not yeah. helping people would be a sin. <laughs> um, how about, what do you think, Amelia? Not listening. not listening. Yeah, disobeying, yep. Telling a lie. Stealing something, hurting someone, all those are sins. So sin started when Adam and Eve ate the tree that they were not supposed to. But all of us, not just Adam and Eve, but every single one of us has sinned and done things that God doesn't want us to do every single day. So Adam and Eve's eyes were open once they ate of the fruit, and instead of seeing beautiful things, they could see destruction and death, which are bad. Sin has consequences. So when we do something wrong, so Amelia, if you don't listen to your mom and dad, is there a consequence? Okay, what's the consequence? What happens? You get grounded. You get grounded. Yep, you get grounded. You might lose uh, your favorite game system or your favorite toy. You might not get to see a, a friend 
So all of those are consequences. So sin has a consequence. Let's see what's next in our basket here. Okay, what do you think this looks like? What is this? A waterfall. A waterfall and beautiful trees. So it might have been in our, in our mind what the Garden of Eden looked like. Perfect beforehand. But after Adam and Eve ate the apple, the world wasn't perfect anymore. It was not. And there were consequences for Adam and Eve. Adam had to work in the fields and with the thorns. And Eve, when she had children, she had pain. Hmm. So let's read some more and see what happened, what the consequences were for Adam and Eve. God told the snake, because of what you did, you will always crawl on your belly. Then he told Adam and Eve, because you disobeyed me, you can no longer live in the garden. Adam and Eve left the garden. God placed angels and a flaming sword to guard the entrance. Adam and Eve would not be allowed in the garden again. It's kind of the opposite of grounded. They got kicked out because they didn't listen. But you know what? What, Mary? It's like you need these different bodies like the animals and Sometimes you, yep, sometimes people get kicked out of places. But the story does not end there because there is hope, even for us, especially for us, because we make those mistakes too. In Genesis chapter 3, God also says, the woman, the, ser- the serpent or the snake, will bite the woman's son on the heel. But the woman's son will crush the serpent's head. Who do you think the woman's son is? Who could crush the serpent's head? Jesus. You are 100% correct. Jesus. Let's see what our, what's left in here. What is it? The cross. And Jesus is our hope when he took away our sins. He paid the consequence for each one of us. So that's our hope is in Jesus. And this is our little symbol with the Methodist Church, but we also think about this like the Holy Spirit that God gives us as our helper. All right, so let's say a prayer. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you. Thank you. For offering us. For offering us. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. For our sins. For our sins. By sending your son. By sending your son. Jesus. Jesus. Our Savior. Our Savior. To take away our sins. To take away our sins. On the cross. On the cross. We know. We know. How much you love us. How much you love us. Because you did this for us. Because you did this for us. And all God's people said. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys for telling me this helpful story. Thank you guys. Good job. Super listening. Good job.